The State Department and Pompeo have become sort of central figures in the saga of these impeachment proceedings. We are going to go speak with a man who understands the framework and the infrastructure of the State Department. Bo. <laughs> Shake. Good boy. Philippe Reynas, who is known in some circles as Hillary's henchman. In other, more official circles, he is known as the special advisor to the Secretary of State. And in our circles, he is known as a straight-talking wizard of the dark arts. I'm sorry, is that to a robot dog to keep the cat's companion? Yeah. It's a test. It's an experiment to mean, see how they react. If people never had cats, it would soften my reputation. I'd be ineffective. I mean... The truth is, is that they're the only living beings I actually don't mind being around. I wanted to actually talk to you about Pompeo and his capacity as Secretary of State, given the fact that you know intimately... Mike Pompeo has no capacity to be Secretary of State. Well, you may think... <laughs> okay, fine. We'll, we'll start there. You understand what it is like to be a Secretary of State. In Italy, Mike Pompeo says, yeah, I was on the phone call between Trump and Zelensky. Is that something Secretary of States do? If a world leader was in town, Hillary would be at the White House for the meeting. If there was a call to, say, Angela Merkel, there'd be written notes, and they would be the equivalent of listening in. But people have other things to do. To me, it sounds like none of them trust Trump, and the only way that they can get a sense of what he's saying is to listen. The fact that Pompeo is on the call yeah. means that he's known all along oh, that this is what's transpiring. Oh, if you watch any interview he's given about this topic, it's written all over his face that he's been lying. And I'm sure this is not the only call he listens to. Right. Trump seems to enjoy Pompeo's company. Yeah. It's very possible he says, I want Mike in the room. And they say, you know, can we just put him on the phone? Pompeo is essentially a White House staffer working in the State Department. A White House strategy that they can just say no when Congress asks anything of the administration without consequence is Pompeo's policy at the State Department. Now, to be honest, they've gotten away with it. Now, under the formal impeachment process, the stonewalling itself can be an article of impeachment. And, and you could argue it, though. The devil's advocate would say, oh, an impeachable offense. Oh, big deal. The House is going to pass articles of impeachment. The only thing that matters... That is matters... a big deal. You look at the four presidents who have faced this, not being removed doesn't mean there were no consequences. The articles of impeachment that were being drafted and never voted on were part of Nixon's leaving. Yeah. And the trial for Bill Clinton... Long term, I don't think that was great for the Democratic Party. There's a belief. Or for that, Bill Clinton. Or for Bill Clinton. And I don't think Donald Trump is going to just be able to laugh this off. First of all, the stain of itself is going to drive him crazy. And he has left Congress with no choice but to use this authority because he has said since the Democrats won back the House of Representatives. Help.